Let's get it. Let's get it, man. What's good? What's popping? What's popping? Let's get it. Let's get it. What's popping? Let's get it, let's get it. Let's pop it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yo, what's good with you, Rue? What's going on, good dog? Hey, man. You know what it is, man. 2022, man. Staying blessed. Staying sucker free, man. Oh, yeah. Got two more there. What's that? Oh, you got some more light in there or something? Yeah, I might have to turn another light on. I might have to go in the other room. Yeah, man. I want everybody to see you, man. See, yeah, man. Yeah, man. What up? Hey man, I, I ain't listened to all your music though yet, man. I'm, I'm definitely gonna check it out. But I was just listening to Stupid the other day, man. Yeah, I mean today just now, man. Like, do you really let them goons go stupid, man? Oh yeah, most definitely. Right, right, right. Okay, 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 okay. So, are you, are you really certified in the streets, or are you just rapping? Oh yeah, I'm really rapping. certified in these streets. Yeah, I really do this, man. You feel? Oh yeah, I really like this. Really like that. Fact, fact. Like, you, you see people in the streets rapping, doing both. Do you feel like that's dangerous, though, Rue? No, nah, I mean, it ain't dangerous. Nah, it ain't gonna be dangerous. I mean, if you're rapping about what you do, I mean, people people already know what's going on with you. Facts. In fact, though, but that, that come with a consequence, though. We look at Bobby Schmurder and Pooh Shiesty and Kodak and all the other people who be going constantly in and out of jail, man. Do, do you feel like, you know, you just, just leave some th some people should leave certain things on the mic and leave it like leave it at that be before they really oh, yeah. jump out there? Oh yeah, sometimes yeah, you can't you can't you can't say too much. You can't let them know too much. Right. We you know that with the Vaughn situation. Well, Vaughn was grabbing about catching bodies, which he hated. Yeah, oh, he, they, he jammed up, they own it. They're gonna listen to it, they're gonna look at it. Right, right. But uh, but what I'm saying is though, like with Vaughn rapping about catching all these bodies and you know, catching these cases and shit. Do you feel like that's good? Because if you actually do that shit, then everybody after you, the, 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 the alphabet boy is coming for you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, hey, if you do it, it's certain things you don't put in your music. You feel me? But hey. some, some, some people like to hear that in music. That's the type of music they like to hear. You know what I'm do saying? You feel like fans, do you feel like fans just nowadays want their artists to be real street niggas doing real gangsters in real life? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to hear nothing, no fake and fugazi or, you know what I'm saying? Is, is that the reason why you feel like SoundCloud rappers ain't really doing nothing like they used to? Like, remember 2016 and 17, the SoundCloud wave came in with Lil Yachty and everybody else? But nowadays, it's kind of died out. They just want to hear real street niggas and actually want to see them actually do that shit. Like, damn. That's it. That's it. Do you do you feel like rap will ever get back to like it once was where it was just entertainment? And the people just wanted to hear you rap and not care about you living that lifestyle. Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. It's 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 on the way back. You know what I'm saying? They starting to get away from it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Certain rappers. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Uh, so facts, facts, facts. Uh, how you got the rap man though, man? Like, you know, who you born and raised, and how you got the rap man? How that came? Oh, born, born and raised in Gaston, Shit, I moved in 2000, 2009. You feel me? Shit, I'm a homeboy. 
They just called me Gooch. You feel me? Everybody Gooch. was just Gooch. Was you inspired by Gucci Man? Say what? Was you inspired by Gucci Man? Oh yeah, that's one of my favorite rappers. That's my top rapper. That's my all time favorite rapper. You know what? I love Gucci Man myself though, man. I was born with Gucci ever since I was like third or fourth grade when he dropped the uh oh, yeah. freaky, freaky girl shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm 26. You feel me? Yeah, that was grab my that's how I listen to, bro. Gucci Man is another one who actually caught a body, beat the case, and rapped about it in song. Talking about dig your partner up, nigga, bet he can't say shit. You know what I'm saying? But he did it the legit way, though. You know what I'm saying? Certain ways to put it in his songs. Once, Fact, you got a case we, you, once you got a case and you beat it, if you say something about it, it's already done and over. They can't do nothing about it. So Gucci, you know what I'm saying? But King yeah. Von, he rapping about it and he's still going to jail for it. You feel me? Thanks. So that ain't doing nothing but adding more evidence while the case still open. Now, if you already done beat the case, you can talk about it. Hey, hey, before he died, well, actually, when he died, they found him like he was guilty of murder. I already think they said, actually. So it was actually kind of stupid of him, you know. But, uh, like, and I was uh, having a conversation with somebody about this earlier this week, uh, like, about Gucci Man, whatever, you know, how he progressed and how he came in the game or whatever, like, What's some of your favorite Gucci mixtapes? I don't even think I got any favorites, though, but... Oh, mine? Man, I got to go back to, you know what I'm saying? The old whip, the Will Chamberlain's. Mm, them good, too. You know what I'm saying? The, the, uh... Writing on the wall. Walls, you know what I'm saying? Dear Diary, all that. You know what I'm saying? The old Gucci. I feel like the old Gucci is ten times better than this new Gucci. I don't like the new Gucci. You know what I'm saying? I like when he was on lean, riding around with guns, him and Flocka. And the old, I like the old Brick Squad, not this new Brick Squad. The old one, man, with Friendship, Woo the Kid, uh, Young Scooter, and everybody, OJ and them. Woo the Kid, Woo the Kid, Duck Tape, that was one of my favorite songs by him. That's jamming. Hey, Woo the Kid don't get enough credit, though. That old one, Friendship and them, that old goddamn Brick Squad had some hits, man. I don't know what happened to him, though, man, but with Juice and everybody, God damn, that was a good old days right there, man. Yeah. Oh, do you feel like Gucci Man is like a pioneer in the rap game, though, know, like with the mixtape, how he did the shit? Because yeah. he wasn't like Jeezy and T.I., you know, putting out platinum albums and shit. He was really getting that shit out the mud, man, doing mixtapes around in Atlanta and doing that shit. So you feel like he a, like a legend in the game doing that? Oh, yeah, he definitely is a legend. Yeah. Facts, yeah. facts, facts. He, um, he put, put a lot of rappers on, man. He feel me. That's how I'm trying to do all my own. Facts, facts. Um, and then you know he had the, the verses this year, like well last year actually, we almost two years ago, goddamn. How how you feel about the verses shit? Man, they ain't had the right songs on there, man. He had so it's so many different songs that Gucci could have had on that list. That was just eight G's. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. know. Jeezy got a bigger cap. Jeezy got more First, radio hits than him. Though. You know what I'm saying? That's personally why I did like the, the song selection. It, I don't know. It wasn't there. Mm, I, I can't remember what song. I know he played that Truth song. And yeah, I he, feel like that right there was just so disrespectful. Like, that was one of the most disrespectful songs ever right there. Most definitely supposed to play that song. He did play that. That was a hot ass song. Uh, hey, what song you feel like he should have played, though? Because Gucci got so many damn songs, though, man. It's like, damn. It was. It's a, it's a lot of different songs he could have played. A lot. He got too yeah. much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he he got so much catalog, but like said, man. Like, but like you said, he's got more radio hits, you know what I'm saying? But, but the, the, right, right. Just, Most of with trap, the verse. Mm-hmm. Red trap music, you feel me? Right. That's how Gucci was red trap music. Thanks, thanks. Uh, who who you feel like the king of the trap, though? T.I., Jeezy, or Gucci? Gucci the king of the trap, man. Look how many rappers he inspired. I mean, the rappers he had around them showed them the game. Look at a lot of them now. Young Dolph, one of them. Rest in peace to Dolph. Uh, they're Pee Wee Longway. Young. Mm, I forgot about Pee Wee. Damn. Thug. 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 The Migos. You know what I'm saying? Before they went to QC, they was rocking with Gucci. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, him and uh, he was rocking with him. Coach K and them got down. Hear me. So good. Yeah, that's how they ran to Coach K through Gucci. You know what I'm saying? Mm. A lot of rappers. Say- Mm-hmm. A lot of rappers. You, you said what? A lot of rappers that's done went through Gucci, man, and you know what I'm saying? 
He gonna put you where you need to be. Facts. I mean, would you say he got one of the best ears in hip hop? I would like to say he got one of the best ears as an A and R in the game, though, man. He don't get enough credit for that ear. Yeah, yeah. Some talent. <laughs> and, and, and you gotta think that's that's where all his rappers come from. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah, like the stuff Pooh still. Uh, damn. Uh, Mo, 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 the one I like the most out of all of them now is Big Walk Dog. Damn. I didn't really like him though. I don't, he cool though. He got that song a whole lot of ice, ain't it? Yeah, that, that, yeah, Big Walk Dog. Yeah, that I he think walk. my favorite was Pooh Shice. Dude. I had like a Hood Rich Paulo Juan. I don't know what happened with him though. I had like Hood Rich a little bit. Yeah, my homeboy uh, Hood Rich. You know, that's all he listened to. But you know, he locked up. Hood Rich locked up again? Yeah, Hood Rich Pablo Juan locked up. Excuse me. God damn. I, I I know he always get robbed in Atlanta. For some reason, everybody feel like he's sweet. I don't know why. Yeah, that's why I say, you know, they say he had something to do with that, um, that, um, with Marlo dying. Oh, damn. Damn. Mm hmm Ain't Gucci, did Gucci discover Bank Road Fresh? I want to say he discovered him, too, ain't he? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Bank Road. He was fucking with Bank Road. Yeah. God, Gucci always hop on talent before they hot, like. You know, the way he discovered Thug, I never thought Thug would have been hot like he is. I said, dang. No, Cause the ten the, the ten seventeen, the, the young thug ten seventeen, like it was different. When I first Man. that was in, back in the day, I was still in high school when that came out. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, thanks. You know, uh, like, but he's a coach now. He putting out other rappers. You feel he got Ghana. He got a lot. Thanks, thanks, big thanks. Um I, I think Goosey Man definitely don't get enough credit for doing that shit, man. Just just being a pioneer in the game and, and really changing his life up, though, with it. Uh, I think he one of the best that ever did it out of Atlanta, though. He don't get enough credit, though, man. He really don't get enough credit. I feel like very underrated, though, on yeah. what he doing. I think, I think uh, you know, all of, most of his artists locked up. Young Maul, Pooh Shice, you know? Like, a lot of his artists locked up right uh, now, man. All right. Ola Runt, he, he locked up. That's why you ain't heard nothing else from him. You said who runs? Ola Runt. You know, Ola Runt. Yeah, he was trying to test him. He locked up, though. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, the young Maul got locked up. And everybody for the same thing, shooting some damn body, I think. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Why you think that is? Is it because they got something they got to prove to him or just in this street shit or? Probably something going on we don't even know nothing about, you know what I'm saying? All kind of different situations. Facts. Big, big facts. Big facts. Um, how, how long you was rapping serious, though? Shit, I've been rapping serious since, what, 2000? When I started rapping, what, 2015, 2016? Okay, okay. Facts. Big facts. Um, <laughs> what, what made you start taking it serious and realize, okay, I want to do this for the rest of my life and not work a nine to five? You feel me, shit, all my homeboys here. Well, you hard. Go to the studio, drop this shit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. When I drop it, they listen to the planet. You feel me? Facts. You know what I'm saying? They listen to my shit, playing my shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, you remember the first song you ever recorded in the studio? First song you wrote? Yeah, first song I ever wrote, yeah. Yeah, that shit was hard. Me and my big homie. It's called Super Ice. That shit hard. Mm. Okay. How long it took you to come up with it? And I dropped that song right there, like 30 minutes. No cap. Like 30 Man. minutes. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Super. Does it usually take that long to come up with a song or it take less than that? I mean, it just depends on your mood, how you feel, you know what I'm saying? If you already got something, you know what I'm saying? It just depends on your work ethic, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So, have you ever worked 9 to 5? Oh, yeah, I definitely don't work 9 to 5. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Shit, just, mm -hmm. just ain't got police. Get paid every week. Straight, ain't nothing wrong with 9 to 5. Do you still currently work 9 to 5? No, nah, I don't work no 9 to 5. <laughs> Well, my ex was well, well, about to say what you do to make money, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure you ain't gonna answer that one right there for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is a lot of different things, you know what I'm saying? It's, all, it's a lot of ways to get paid, you know what I'm saying? 
Facts, facts. Now it's ninety nine ways to get paid out here. They say. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta figure it out. Facts, facts. What, what was you? What was the uh, last nine to five you did? <sighs> Shit. Working at a little plant job, you feel me? It's been, you know what I'm saying? The shit was great, though. It was great. Yeah, you know, that shit. I used to be working every day here. Yeah. Facts, facts, facts. You was smashing all the girls out there. You used to plant girls always giving it up out there, man. <laughs> I mean, you know how it is. But no, you know what I'm saying? Yesterday, all day. Y'all run that bread, though. I'm all about some bread, you feel me? Y'all get that bread. Fair, fair. How does it feel not working nine to five? You feel like you got more free time on your hands to go to the studio and you know networking shit. It was like the nine to five was kind of like holding you back a little bit. Like now you got way more time in the day to make shit happen. Most most definitely got more time to do and make make things more things and capable things happen. Most definitely got more time to do that. Oh damn, I forgot to just say some Fujiano locked up right now. We forgot about Fujiano, man. Shit. Yeah, he locked up too. No, he not got out. He out now. He, done got he out. out. Yeah, Fujiano got out now. When he got out? He got he done been out. He got out last year. He got out 2021. I ain't hear about that. Yeah. Hey, so so now since so like w without you working now, you say you got more time to, you know, work on your schedule. Like do you got like a certain schedule you do now or like how yeah. what, like what's the day in the life of a a, a rule like goops like? What you do, man? Like, you wake up at a certain time, you know, hit the studio, make these moves, or, like, what's the process like? Yeah. How long is that? Good. Yeah, I'm back, dog. Yeah. Um, facts, man. So, like, what's the daily schedule like, big homie? Oh, shit. Feed me, wake up. Daily, daily medicine. Chill. You got to think. You got to use your brain every day. Got to use it. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Facts. So, how long um, you go to the studio every day? So, like, once a week, twice a week, three times a week? Like, what's that like? Oh, yeah. <coughs> Most of them try to go at least two, three times a week. <coughs> How many hours are you trying to do on the like eight, twelve, four? What, what it's like? Just depends on what I'm working on that day. You feel? Mm. <coughs> might go in there drop some. Yeah, if I still feel like dropping something else, I might just drop something else. You know what I'm saying? How many songs you probably knocking out? You don't really know. It's just like probably, I probably do about. Every time I go to the studio, I do about two or three songs. Okay. Say. Hey, do you believe when you go to the studio, you believe in quality over quantity or quantity? I got you gotta be that sound. I gotta have that. You gotta, you gotta have me crispy that my sound. That's what I said. You feel like it matter what studio you go to like now, like for upcoming artists, like they trying to make you get where you at, you know what I'm saying? Like, does it matter what studio you go to? Or you think they should just do it off a laptop and record themselves and shit? No, nah, I mean, it's just it's all about how you want your music to sound. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So you have to go with, with, you know what I'm saying? Thanks, thanks, thanks. Gotcha, gotcha. I, I have great quality on my songs, you feel me? My it record. does, though. I, I listen to uh, a couple of them, man. The quality sounds good, though. I love the, the crispiness of it. Like, you know what like, I'm saying? So, it sounds so clear, you know what I'm saying? It sounds like it was made in a real studio. It wasn't made in the basement type shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to have it. That's that's the sound you, you want. That's the that's what catches the a and R ears. Oh, uh, he sounds, you know what I'm saying? You can hear every word. Like, the music not like, you know, you know what I'm saying? This is, you know what I'm saying? Distortion. They, they, they hear all this. You know what I'm saying? Facts, facts, facts. Uh, 
I was about to say that. What about the people who work in the nine to five and they don't have as much time to go to the studio or, you know, come like, you know what I'm saying, have as much time as you do around the day because somebody who got as much time like you do who don't work in nine to five, they got all day to do this shit. The other person, they got twelve or eight hours taken away from their life though, or whatever. So they can't be in the studio as many hours like what would you recommend for them to do like? You know what I'm saying? What's your tips for that? On your free time, you gotta go in there and eat. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and go ahead and cook it up. Go ahead mm. and cook it up. Write it down, whatever. So when you go in there, you can just drop, you know what I'm saying? Drop back to back, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Sorry, you, can, sorry. you know what I'm saying? Not about three or four songs out in about four or five hours, you know what I'm saying? Real time, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, I, I think I was listening to something. I think I was reading something about Bobby Smurda when he made hot nigga, man. He paid twenty dollars for the studio session and that shit changed his life for the rest of his life, goddamn. So you, you only need you, one song to change your life out there, one. man. There's only one. That's it. That's all you need is one. That that, that one song can just take you out of this damn world, bro. It can help reach the masses. Just keep making music. One of them song, one of them, they gonna like it. Everybody gonna like it. It's going to be that, like you say, it's that one. It's all it takes, that one. Thanks, and once you get, get that one, you gonna, you, you, gotta, you just got to stay in it. You might make another one right after that. Thanks, thanks. Big thanks. Um, would you sign with Gucci Man? Yeah, yeah, I'll sign right now. Yeah, I'll go. I'll sign with them, see? Like, what, what, what kind of deal would you take from him? Like a single deal? Like, you know, like. Would you negotiate with him, or he just take whatever he offer you? I had to see what he's talking about, but hell, he giving all his rappers a meal, two meal. I take that. Damn. Off that. Damn. Every rapper he signed now, I think they get a meal or two. You feel me? I take that. I sign for a meal. I think one of his rappers was talking about they went broke, little wop or some shit. I don't know. One of them said they got damn. He ain't getting paid enough for some shit. One of them motherfuckers said, "I said, dang." In the Chicago dude. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He had dreads and shit, dark skin. I ain't never heard nothing from him after that. Yeah, I know who you talking about. Yeah, so I was like, shit. Um, so how 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 can South Carolina make moves to break into the industry? You think, uh, root goose. Oh, yeah, everybody yeah. got fun with everybody. Like, yeah, you know, they say South Carolina yeah. hard to make it, though. What you feel like they got to do to, what you feel like us South Carolina <laughs> people got to do to really get in the industry, man, and goddamn break out? All you really got to do, man. No, I say everybody just work together, stick together, you feel? It's easy. You know what I'm saying? But everybody had their own self esteem, you know what I'm saying? All you got to do is come together. Look at all the Atlanta rappers, man. That's all they do, make songs with each other. You feel me? Thanks. You feel me? The heat, the heat is going to heat. You know what I'm saying? The heat going to come. That's all y'all do, man. That's it. Really? Mm. Damn. I agree. I agree. I agree on that. So you feel like a lot of people just being selfish right now and thinking about me, me, me? Yeah, 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 man. You know what I'm saying? I try to work with everybody. You feel me? I got I to, um, I just dropped the EP, uh, EP you feel me? I'm finna get ready to drop my deluxe to around about the end of uh, January, February, beginning of February, and I'm gonna have a lot of uh, artists featured from Gadden, South Carolina. On, you feel? Me? Cause all the first, all the songs on the first on the EP, it was all that was basically all by myself. So on the deluxe, I'm gonna do about 11, 12 songs, and I'm gonna have different rappers from Gadden, South Carolina. On, you feel? Me? We try to do something to do something, you feel me? Get something started, you feel me? Are you, uh, are you, are you paying them for the features or got them, um, you know, they just doing it for love, out of love right now? You know what I'm saying? It's all off the strength of love, you feel me? That's all it really have to be, you know what I'm saying? But if it comes to the money situation, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? If, if they feel like they want to get paid for it, I mean, if I still, hey, you know what I'm saying? I have to pay. If I want them on the song, I just have to pay, you feel me? But I won't feel no type of way, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm Right, because it's a business, too, at the end of the day, as well. Cause you feel me? It's business, you know what I'm saying? And you never know what they got going on at the moment, at the time, you feel me? Facts, facts, facts. Uh, <laughs> will you do a song with 6 9 
No. No. Okay. Oh, no. no. You want to talk about it? Nah, I wouldn't do no song, bro. Why is that? What's your reason behind it? Nah, I just, I ain't never liked his music when he first came out, man. All that yelling and screaming. I, I ain't never really listened to his music like that, to be real with you. Keep well, I thought because that damn, he was a snitch, though. They say he was snitching, allegedly. You know, I'm saying, I'm talking about before the snitching and all this came about. Like, when he first mm -hmm. dropped and I was hearing the song, I was just telling my homeboys, man, turn that shit the fuck off. That shit is <laughs> no word. You feel me? Before all the snitch, I never liked the 6 9 period. You know what I'm saying? I, I never liked his, none of his music. He kind of remind me a little bit of X and Onyx, the old group and the group, the old rap group in the 90s called Onyx with Fredo Starr and them guys. Like, you know, and, you know what I'm saying? Like, with the screaming, yeah. yelling, and a little bit of that DMX in them and shit. Yeah. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never liked my own boys. Just try to play that shit. I used to turn that shit off. Did you take him seriously as a blood, though, with the rainbow hair? And he said he's a. A Billy Blood? Nah, I ain't never, I ain't never been really, man. Nope. So basically, you saying he was laughable? Yeah, he was laughing. Me. So he was a fucking joke. He was a guy. Yeah. What the fuck is this dude doing? Now, Nardo Wick said he robbed people for a living instead of working a nine to five. What's your thoughts on that, man? That's a, that's that that's that man. That's his lifestyle. That's what he. If that's what he really do, that's what he live by. I mean, everybody get money different. There's a lot of different ways to get paid. Oh, oh put the camera on y'all. You know what I'm saying? Right there. Got you. It's, yeah, you know what I'm saying? There's it's a lot of ways to get paid. Would you feel like that's a good way right there to rob from the weak and the innocent? Not really, but I mean, if you have to come down to it and that's how you have to get it, I mean, hey. But God damn, dude. Why you got to make sure to take something out of somebody else's mouth just so you can eat? What kind of fairness is that? That's what I'm saying. That's why you gotta find out. You gotta, you gotta do something. That's why I say you gotta let your brain work, man. Work, man. You just gotta sit down. That's a lot of ways to get paid. Some people just choose the right way. Some people just go the other way about shit. You feel? Right, right. Did you graduate high school? Yeah, I graduated from high school. You feel? Okay. Would you recommend all people in the track to graduate or just drop out? I mean, hell no. Nah. I mean, you need your education. Yeah. Cause if everything if anything fails, hey, you can you can, hey, shit, job or anything, hey, you gonna need it. GD or something. Okay. I mean that's good. Yeah. You got your diploma. I got my high school diploma. I mean a GD yeah. is good, but it ain't nothing like a diploma, goddamn. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You can't get a you don't you don't walk across the stage with a GD or anything. You feel me? Hell, I was doing the same shit while I was at school. Well, he used to come home about one, two o'clock in the morning. Got to go to school. Shit, yeah, you feel me? I just been doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, how did you get in the street life? Those things. How how that shit happened for you? I grew up in it though. You feel me? I grew up. I seen it all. You feel? So you say you seen it all. Or you sell it all. I seen it all. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You know, I'm a civilian myself, you know. I don't participate in any of that, though, but it, it does look good on TV, though. What's the dark side of the street? I always want to ask somebody that. You know, what's the dark side of the street that rappers don't talk about or the, that, the, that the TVs and movies don't show? Like, what's the dark side of it, dude? Going to jail, getting robbed, <laughs> or getting killed. One of the mm. three. Or going to jail. One of the, one of the folks. But even if those are the risk of being in the trap or being from across the tracks, why would you somebody engage in those activities and still do that, though, that's, 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 just, that's just what they like. That's just their lifestyle. Is it, the, is it the hustle for you, the high for you? Is the, it's the, it's the, the money thrill? for you. You know what I'm saying? You do what you want to do. You got money. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to ask nobody, worry about nobody telling you this, that. You know what I'm saying? You can do stuff on your own. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is, you know what I'm saying? You got to get your money in and do what you're supposed to do with it. You feel me? Facts. Facts. That's all you have to do. Facts. Um, big facts. Big facts right there. And uh, in the song, Stupid, you said, you know what I'm saying? You said you're serving in the truck. You said you fronting packs, though. You said you ran off on the plug and you fronting about packs. Nah, talking about front your pet boy is you stupid nigga. You feel me? No, I'm not fronting no pets. 
Yeah. Are you talking about packs of weed, coke, Elron, pills? What kind of pack, man? They did gas pack, man. Gas, weed? Weed, yeah. Bowls. So you selling bowls? bowls. Yeah. You selling pounds, what you saying? Or ounces, grams? Whatever yeah, you need. Damn. Damn, facts, facts. How much the pack going for right now in the truck? For this nice little ticket. Nice little ticket. Yeah. So let's say if somebody want a whole pound right now or some exotic right now, how much would that cost you? Depending on who you get it from. Uh, yeah. See, I say around probably around about about twenty four to twenty six. Damn, might, might be twenty eight. Woo wee! Damn. Is that all you selling, or that's it? Uh, you can't go. Don't. You can't do too much. <laughs> Damn. Right, right, right. Do you like? Look, do you feel like also as a rapper is dangerous right now because people rappers getting killed and being targeted. You know what I'm saying? So like, do you feel like as a rapper, you know what I'm saying? You got to move a certain way. And you got to watch your back a lot. You know what I'm saying? Just move cautiously now. Nah. Got them goons on standby, ain't it? <laughs> nah, I don't got no goons on standby. You feel me? Everybody good people, man. Just chill, relax, you feel me? Not back, do your thing. Stay out the way. Are you are you getting more females now because you don't work at 9 to 5? Then nah. Because you're in the trap instead of working at 9 to 5? Because females love niggas in the trap, though, man. Nah, you can't, you know. You got to get your money, man. You got to just come to the trap spot and smoke some weed, free weed, or, like, what's that like? Nah. So you mean tell me some baddies can't get no free weed off you, what you're saying? Not real. Nah. Women love to get, I heard women, I heard some bad women only got to pay for weed. They got a fat ass and a pretty face and a slim waist. They ain't even got to pay for weed is what they saying. So I, I just want to know, if you see a big booty chick, goose, are you going to front her some free weed or she's going to have to pay like everybody else? Yeah, she got to pay like everybody else. I don't know, Rubes. I feel like you're capping on live because you don't lie with me now, Goose. No, nah, I ain't going to cap to you. Yeah, if they want it, they can buy it. <laughs> so you gonna tell her just like this, whatever you want. Oh, you want? Uh, you want? Come on, you can buy it. You want it? You can buy it. You like to keep it like that because of business, or you don't like to mix business with pleasure? There ain't need nothing about that. You just gotta stay. Man, I stay on. You just gotta stay to yourself, man. You feel? Yeah. You do too much. That's how motherfuckers get fucked up in the street. You feel? Facts, facts, facts. Like, you be doing uh, talent shows? Are you getting a, Are you getting booked for shows? Or? You feel me? Uh, nah, you know what I'm saying? I be doing a little shit, you feel me? But yeah, I be getting, you know what I'm saying? They got certain little shit, you feel me? Like, little clubs I be going to, performing and shit, you know what I'm saying? They be reaching out to me and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I go perform and shit. How much they book you for? Oh shit, hell, I don't, it's all out of love. It'll be my people, okay. you know, in the club and shit, you feel me? That ain't nothing but exposure to get your music out, anyways, you feel me? Facts, facts, man. You need that exposure, goddamn. You well, need that exposure. Well, especially if it's your people, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, you get nervous when you perform, it's kind of like, man, shit like brushing your teeth now. Mm, shit like brushing your teeth, man. You feel me? Gotcha. Gotcha. It's pretty much like getting in the car for the, pretty much like driving now, huh? Easy once you once you done did it so much you get adapt to it. Gosh, it's like second nature now type shit. Yeah. Oh, fast, fast, fast. Are more groupies coming at you in your DMs and shit? Like you know what I'm saying? Nah, hell nah. Facts, facts. Shit, right. feel that they just like to, they just like to post or whatever. Yeah. Nah, they in your comment section or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, then. Right, right. Yeah. Oh. Right. How I feel to be on the top two in Carolina, man? What, what's that feeling like? Mm, that shit, that shit. That's all I love. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Just keep working. Keep grinding. Mm. Just Fact, keep working. Keep grinding. Right, right. You know, like right. they say, you never know who watch. You never know man, who this. Somebody is. always watching you out there that could bless you, they say. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, that's why I always say do good, you know, when nobody looking. You know what I'm saying? That's all, that's all I say. You just got to listen out back, stay to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dance like nobody watching. That's the old saying. Dance like nobody walking. Watch. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? 
Facts, facts, facts. Like, you feel like, uh, you know, uh, did, did you, uh, when you seen the list, like, you know, what was your, like, first thoughts of it? Like, did you know any people on the list? Or you were like, damn, that's a lot of love right here. I finally get some name in my city, you know, being on the list with Black Zag, PG Rye, so on and so forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? My homeboy was on there too, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? My homeboy, he was number two, you know what I'm saying? Freezy the Mac, you feel me? My homeboy, he was on there too, you feel me? So yeah, that's, that's real love for the city, you feel me? Right, right. Because I done did, me and brother drop singles and EPs together, you feel me? So you know what I'm saying? That shit just all love, that shit work. Shit, that's good to be on there. You know what I'm saying? They, they see your name on there, they're gonna come, they're gonna start looking at you. You get what I'm saying? Okay, he on the top two, let me go check out some of his music. See what he, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's all about exposure. That's how you, you need to get your music out there. That's it. Facts, 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 man. Hey, man, that, that definitely is dope, dope right there. Uh, work, how you celebrated that shit? Do you celebrate or pretty much just went back to work? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. You most definitely celebrate me and my homeboys. You feel me? Most definitely celebrate me. A couple bottles, you feel me? What y'all popping on, man? What y'all had pop? You know what I'm saying? We just, shit, we be drinking the blue. You know, you drink the blue uh, Bel Air? You said the blue what? The blue Bel Air. I didn't heard it, though. I, oh, I heard the blue Bel Air. Somebody, Rick Ross, what shit? Yeah. Ain't, I ain't never had it. That wine or liquor? It was champagne. Champagne? Okay. I ain't never tried it. Yeah, I tried it. I like the way the bottle looked, though. Yeah, champagne. They got all different kinds. Yeah. But that blue one, that was nice right there. The blue one. You had the, the big-ass bottle that was $100 or the small bottle? It was a $100 bottle. Yeah. Woo! Boy, y'all serving packs for real, boy. Hey, man. What, say somebody wanted to work in a trap with you, what they got to do to serve pull-out job applications or something like <laughs> Ain't no job applications. You don't, you don't do spot on interviews or anything? <laughs> all the spots is ticking. All the spots is filled. Oh, th there's no vacancy in the trap? <laughs> no, nah, all the spots is taking. All the spots so is Somebody filled. can do something. Roll some blunts in the trap. Watch the dough. Watch the guy now. No, nah, see, we don't, have to, we don't have to worry about that. You feel me? We don't have to do all that. You feel me? Facts, facts, facts. Are you, are you, do you feel fearful for the cops or somebody running up on you, robbing you? Because when you're in that lifestyle, that come with consequences. Like we were talking about earlier in this conversation. So, you, you are you fearful of that, or you know? Nah, I ain't, nah, I ain't worried about none of that. You know what I'm saying? No company. You know what I'm saying? I get respect all around my city. You feel me? I go wherever I want to go in my city. You feel me? Have a great time. You feel me? That's all it be. You know what I'm saying? I don't go nowhere looking for no trouble. You feel me? But if it's brought, it's brought. You know what I'm saying? But everywhere I go, you know what I'm saying? I get along with everybody in my city. You feel me? I be on every side of the city. You know what I'm saying? I show love to everybody. You feel me? That's facts right there. Where in my city fuck with me, you feel me? Hell, I be riding here and shit. I might pull up at the red line. Hell, I might see somebody playing my shit, you feel me? Like, mm. that shit. that's something. Hell, they listening to my shit, though, you feel me? Man, what's that feeling like, man, seeing other people listen to your shit and being vibe to your shit? Right you what's that feeling me? like? That shit, that shit feel, that shit feel good, man. Mm -hmm. Work just like just like my homeboys, you feel me? Yeah, some days I come over their houses, go over their houses, you feel me? Shit, they might be in there looking at one of my damn videos when I come in the door. I'm like, hey, well, you in here jamming, ain't it? That shit dope. You, feel me, you know what I'm saying? It just make you feel good, make you want to keep doing it, go harder, you feel me? Gotcha. So, you gotta, watch you your know, fans gravitate towards the music and stream your yeah. music. You know what I'm Word, you feel me? You gotta have, you gotta find your fan base, you gotta connect with your fans, you know what I'm saying? Right, it's all about connecting with that audience. Dude. You feel like it's being it. a rapper, finding that audience and that that core fan base is probably the hardest part. Or what's yeah, the hardest the part, part? You think being the artist that's, coming? Up? That's the hardest part. Get building a fan base up. If you ain't mm -hmm. already got one, if you ain't already got one, you know what I'm saying. That's the hardest part. But once you build your fan base, you just gotta keep pushing and dropping hard music. That's it. <laughs> you feel like it's easier nowadays to be a rapper, or social media make it look easy? They make it look easy. Mm, it's a lot you got. It's a lot you have to invest in the music. Mm. They don't tell you about you kidding. What you feel like social media don't tell you behind the scenes that artists have to do in real life? A lot. They they go around. It's a lot. Can you, can you give us that? Can you give us a few details? Some, some details about that? Goop. You know what I'm saying? Like what's the cut? Like what? Yeah. 
like the deal is it three sixty or not? You know what I'm saying? Certain certain things, you know what I'm saying? They leave out. Or you know what I'm saying? You get in there, you can't drop a tape right then. You gotta wait on them so you can drop your tape. You know what I'm saying? It's all kind of different, different ways. You know what I'm saying? You feel like it's better to be independent or sign to a label. You can be independent, but I want to sign to a label. Let's do a distribution deal. Mm. That's it. Right, right. Or you can sign like a singles deal. Some people do, or you know what I'm saying. Because if you sign a you sign a long term deal, they gonna sign you like three, four albums. Now you wrapped up for the next three, four years or whatever the case may be. So you tied in. Uh, yeah. Do you feel like anybody can be a rapper nowadays? Yeah, if you if you if you serious about it, and you and you and you, and you got and you got the sound for it, yeah. Do you feel like, like rap? Like you say, yeah, now? like you, like you say, it only take that one song. Yeah, right, right. You just take take one, just take one. Of yeah. do you feel like rap requires talent nowadays? Yeah, you gotta have you, you gotta yeah you gotta have a little song. Most definitely gotta have a little song. But it's it's a yeah. lot of it's a it's a lot of them that's not that nice that's in there though. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. nowadays we got TikTok and we got all these uh, TikTok right now help blowing songs up and shit. I feel like before it was SoundCloud rappers, now we got what you call TikTok rappers, TikTok rappers and YouTube rappers just blow up whatever. You feel like got um, the, the 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 talent has went down. It's not really a talent contest like it's supposed to. It's more of a popularity contest. Yeah. Mm. Facts, facts. Who who you feel like some of the rappers that ain't nice in the game? Shit, man, it's a couple of them, man. There's a lot of them. I just be <coughs> my homeboys don't be listening to them. The shit, I'm like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? I really don't even be knowing their name because I don't listen to them. You feel me? But it's a lot of them out here, and I just be like, Damn, I know I'm harder than him. You know what I'm saying? But they kind of frustrating. It's, it's just, it's, it's just, they they, they just. <clears throat> It was just their time when it was their time, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? It, it, everything gonna fall in place. You feel? You can't rest yeah, nothing. You, mm -hmm. you gotta have patience. Hey, man, patience is the key, bro. Patience is yeah, a virtue. You know what I'm saying? Because hey, you gonna blow it. Your time gonna come soon, and when it gets your time, you gotta take advantage of it. Facts got to strike with the iron's hot. They say, ain't it? I'm tell you. Gotta get it when it getting getting good. Yeah. So like, do it, do it first straight to it. Just, just motivate you. Okay, I gotta keep going hard and be consistent in this shit. Where well, it just made me keep going hard. That's it. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I don't take no hate, no hurt. You know what I'm saying? Should I just keep pushing here? Keep dropping my music. You feel me? Keep doing what I'm doing here. Obviously, something working. You feel me? So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Dropping videos. You feel me? That's another thing a rapper need too. Need visuals. You need visuals. You always need visuals with song. Mm, fact. That's a good point right there. Uh, do you feel like rappers need jewelry and got to have a social media presence to make it? Because nowadays a lot of them just get on social media and post their outfits. And I'm like, where's the music at? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's different. You know what I'm saying? Some days you post clothes. Some days you post music. But you always just got to keep content posting. Uh, repeatedly. So that's all that is. That's another thing in there too. You just have to be consistent with your content. Pictures, videos, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, honestly, you don't really got to have jewelry to be a rapper. If you got it, you got it. You know what I'm saying? Some rappers don't even wear jewelry or rock jewelry. You know what I'm saying? Or if they do, they, they you know what I'm saying? They don't wear too much. You feel Right, right, right. Uh, facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. Um, cause nowadays a lot of rappers posting their jewelry and all that on the internet and shit. I'm like, okay, like, I don't understand. I'm like, where the hell the music at, fam? Where, where is the music? You feel me? Like, you know but when you do get some jewelry, you know what I'm saying? You gonna show it. You feel me? That's that's just it. You feel me? You got the money to do it now. You feel me? But yeah. a lot of rappers don't even wear jewelry like that. Like J Cole. You don't wear jewelry like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, Kendrick? You know what I'm saying? I don't really wear jewelry like that. Facts. Uh, and those are different type of artists, too, though. That, that you know what I'm saying? But see, you, you still got to be humble, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? They probably got some jewelry, you know what I'm saying? But they probably don't even wear it like that, you feel me? 
Or they don't let us see that shit. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Uh, when you see Future, who, they don't even wear designer clothes. People like Future and Gunner to wear designer clothes and spend a bag on that shit. So you know I feel like it's based off the, the artist's content and the music he presents. And you got the money for it. Okay. Well, I mean, J. Cole is richer than a lot of these rappers. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But that's just their style. Thanks, thanks. I mean, he pulled up to a show rocking Crocs. Like, who does this shit? Only he can pull this off. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's different. That's, a th that's another thing about the game. You got to be yourself. You got to be different. If that's what you're rocking, that's what you're rocking. You feel me? Like, you just got to be what's yourself, man. Thanks. What, what, what's rap you? Can't let nobody make you. Mm. That's a good one right there. What what rapper you feel like in, like had a good run in two thousand twenty one? Mm, what rapper had a good run in two thousand twenty one? Shit, uh, I say I say money back. Mm. I was gonna say Thirst Baby, but I mean that's a good one too. He had a very excellent one. I feel like Money Bag had no misses last year too. Like every song he dropped kept going. Yeah, and um, Babyface Ray. I'll say Babyface Ray. He had a good run. He came in. I don't really listen to a lot of his music, though, like that. I heard about Buddy. Um, he's from Detroit, ain't it? Yeah, him and Ice Wear Vezo. Yeah, they just. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard about him. I heard yeah, about them him. Yeah, them two right there. They, yeah, ESTG. Yeah, yeah, I don't really like turned, him like that. Though. You feel me? He turned up when, when it was his time. You know what I'm saying? He sounded with God. That's another one. God is a goddamn good A&R, too. He has a big ear for music as well. Uh, a lot of people was comparing the ESTG to Jesus. Did you hear the comparison? Nah. Where do you think fans got that shit from? Think they just made that shit up? Yeah, probably so. Yeah, ain't no tell. Facts. What, what was some of your favorite? What was your favorite song last year in two thousand twenty one? My favorite song two thousand twenty one. Yeah. Damn. It's a hard one. Yeah. What was a couple of your favorite songs? I should ask. Okay. Guess let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, my boy Ocean Grind Too Hard. Uh, crazy Move. He ate that shit. Yeah, he ate that shit. Grind Too Hard, Ocean. Shit. ESTG, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? El Toro. That shit hard. Babyface Ray, she catch it and yeah, tap in. A lot of, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit that was jammed in 2021. You know what I'm saying? I play this shit on the regular. Uh, you feel like I had a good album last year? Mm, shit, I said Gunna. Gunna had a good album last year. Mm. Yeah, I feel like I Mm. I was about to say my favorite album probably was uh, that Drake and J. Cole album. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm no, I'm gonna go with J. Cole and uh I'm gonna go with that J. Cole and uh Kendrick album. No, J. Cole and Drake. He had to drop that two pack with Lemon Pepper Freestyle, that shit was fire. And everybody yeah. freestyle that shit. Who 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 you feel like on um, coming up this year gonna about to make a new wave, you feel like out of South Carolina? Besides yourself though. What's the artist you feel like that's about to about to make a wave that everybody finna know about? PG Rock. Well, everybody know about him though. Yeah, he hard though. Yeah, he he ain't doing nothing but elevating right now though. You feel? Yeah, he grinding. Man, he did a song with Black and you know, uh, you know, the artist Black. You know, that's a major artist right there. You know, it's nothing to poo poo at. Uh, yeah, cause him and Black Zach been doing songs together. Cause they from the same city. You know what I'm saying? So he already got songs with them boys, you know what I'm saying? He only yeah. heard on his, you know what I'm his visuals, his, his visuals too, though, man. That's what make. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what you have to get them. That's what you have to, to be. You gotta have no visuals. It's facts. It's facts. That's facts, right there. Uh, you feel like people should invest a lot of money in like getting the cameraman or whatever. Because a lot of yeah. people are getting cheap videos. You think they should invest in, like, you know, a better camera? Than shoot yeah, you got to get somebody with a great camera, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my cameraman, the best box, Studio 3, Billy Bushhead, Bushhead TV, you feel Archie, AV Visuals, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that shoot on videos, you know what I'm saying? And my shit be crisp, you feel 
I feel like it's kind of dangerous to be in the hood shooting guns in the video with your cameraman pointing guns in the videos. You see some artists doing shit, like... You know what I mean? That's part of the video. If that's the vision you're trying to get, I mean, if they say they ain't got no problem with it, well, let's, let's make it happen. But don't nobody have no fingers on triggers. Uh, don't you feel like, like cameraman should be like, wait, put the guns on safety, or take the clip yeah, and pull it out the gun? You know, yeah, you feel me. What is the purpose of putting guns in your videos? Because when you got a gun, that means you're ready to kill somebody. Are y'all saying y'all ready to kill? No, I didn't even it. What do you mean? It's just a party of attire. You keep your gun on with you everywhere you go? No, not, not, not necessarily. Just certain places or just? Yeah, just certain places. Well, can you tell us those places or you don't? Nah. But my thing is this right here. If you got to bring a gun, sir, well, maybe you don't need to go there, don't you think? Just out of town places, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't think the same. Facts, facts. Uh, do you put guns in your videos? I haven't watched a lot of your videos yet. So. Every now and then, but I don't put a lot of guns in my videos. But you know that's kind of bad for YouTube, though, though man. When y'all when y'all trying to get mm -hmm. your algorithm up and, you know, get your video push out there, that's bad when y'all posting guns. For all y'all artists out there, please stop posting all the guns and shit. What's your, what's your thoughts on people who post them on social media just to flash them? I mean, hey, that's them. Would you recommend people do it or you kind of like... Nah, I don't recommend people do it. If they do it, they do it. That's on them. You ever done that before? Post gun on social media? Yeah, I have took a picture with a gun before. Yeah, it was, you know what I'm saying? It's just different situations. Why did you post that for the internet to see? No, see, it, it's different, though. When you just buy something new, you you know what I'm saying? You can post, you know what I'm saying? But it's just not showing it off, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. What kind of gun was it? Shit, I don't even remember. How many bodies you had got on it? None. Thanks, 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 man. I'm just saying, though, when people post guns, guns are meant to kill people. So I, I'm like, what are, what are you saying? You ready to kill somebody when you post this? Like, you saying you bought this life or mm -hmm. ready to die for this shit? Or? Hey, it's all different kind of reasons. It's all about what reason you take it for. Mm. Who, you, who you think better, though, man? PG Raw or Black Zach? Who you choosing in the first battle? I gotta go with PG Raw, man. PG Raw. Did you do a song with yeah, yeah, I do a song, with, bro. Like he charged probably at least about twenty five racks, twenty five thousand, twenty five hundred or thirty five hundred for a verse. So would you pay that? Yeah, that's that's reasonable. Mm, damn, you got that, ain't it? That's the easy money, ain't it? Yeah, that's that's, that's reasonable. That's just like that's that, that's blow money at the mall money. <laughs> it's tennis shoe money right there for you, ain't it? Mm. Yeah, man, you need to set something up, something with PG Rob, man. Have you reached out to him? Yeah, I don't reached out to him before. What was his response? Uh, he, just, he just chopped it up, you know what I'm saying? So we got something finna go in motion. Have you sent him some music or? Yeah, it's something on a good tip like that, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, if he got, he giving you a hook, a verse. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a verse. Okay, okay. How long ago was this? Not too long ago. Okay. Was it last year? Sometime. Yeah, yeah. Around you know, right about summertime. Okay, this is almost a year ago. Uh, y'all got on the phone, or y'all were just yeah. communicating through his people? And through the messages, we were write each other back and forth. On the ground? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, was he feeling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, no problem. Yeah, you feel me. Did you send him the money yet, or yeah? Nah, not yet. We ain't, you know what I'm saying? We're we going to have to get back to him and do what you feel me. Would you, you, gonna, would you, talk, would you pay him for the video as well? You're going to have to if you want the video, because that's what's going to make the song, the video. Right. So if you got to pay for it, that's what you got to do. That's what I'm saying. That's what they, that's what they leave out about. You, you got to invest. If you don't invest, you're not going to go nowhere. Fair, fair. All right, right. Was he kind of like down to earth? He was kind of like, you know what I'm saying? This is what it is. Who the, who? Yeah, he cool as hell, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, thanks, man. Hey, tomorrow the verse, we're gonna give you uh twelve, eight, sixteen. You might give me I might get a nice little sixteen. Mm. Okay, what's the name of the song? Can you tell us? I don't know what it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave that unannounced. Okay. okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. We definitely got to hear that shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, most definitely. Fast. Okay, okay. Do you feel like South Carolina should do a versus battle? Like, you see, you know, the industry doing versus battle. Do you feel like South Carolina should do its own versus battle? You know what I'm saying? And somebody yeah, they, yeah, they got. Yeah, they got one going on now. You feel me? Mm. It's my bird, South Carolina. You feel me? They got one going on right now. Yeah, they got uh, damn, what the guy name is uh, oh shit, I did, I did an interview with Buddy too. I can't remember his name. Um, oh shit, he do the uh the war show down there in Spartanburg. Can't remember Jet lag, uh, Jet lag, that damn man. Rento. I, I, yeah, me, we, I did an interview with him not, like last year. Uh, yeah, Rento. Yeah, you met with him? I remember Rento when we went to, you know what I'm saying, back in high school and shit. You feel me? If I reach out, I know it'll be all good. You know what I'm saying? Everything be all good. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, um, they be doing jet lag awards, though. Have you, have you been? Have you been invited? or? No, nah, I ain't never been invited. I ain't never been, you know what I'm saying? It's just something you just have to, you know what I'm saying? If I, you just have to put in the work. Yeah, he doing his thing out there, man. You know what I'm saying? No oh, yes, I'm on. doing his thing out there. Uh, who would you like to see in the South Carolina versus Bad Go at? Nah, I really can't tell you, man. It's a lot of different artists down here, man. Once something pop off, something it's gonna be something nice. It's gonna do numbers. Something gonna something gonna happen. Facts, facts, facts. Big facts. All right, this is the last one. Gucci or T.I. versus? Gucci. Mm. Damn. Gucci a flocker. Gucci. Damn. Okay, okay. Hey, man, anything else before, uh, you know, anything new coming in 2022? Everybody go get that. Everybody go grab that flip rule right now, man, on all, out on all major platforms. Man, flip rule with two P's. F L I P P R U. Flip rule on all major platforms right now. I just dropped it. Go grab that right now on all major platforms. Flip rule. Hey man, oh hey, I'm, how much is the pack flipping for down there, man? Hey, nigga, you. Hey man, you got your video for that right there, man. I already got a video. It's out now on YouTube, man. Go oh, I got to check this shit out. Go to YouTube, go to YouTube right now. It's G Gutru stupid. It's on it's a video out right there right now. Man, definitely and check I got it a out. video. Gonna check that out. Uh, hey man, I appreciate you stopping by showing love, man. Appreciate it. I got a video. Go, Alright, I got a video to that new on that um on that EP too. I got video, I got two videos shot to that whole EP already. I got three more to shoot, man. I got a lot of work to put in, man. Appreciate you for having me on this bit, dog. Hey, man, appreciate you, too, for stopping by, showing love. Definitely about to check out these videos, give you some more likes, comments on that shit. Hey, man, appreciate you getting free time right now for this shit, both. Appreciate it, man. It's G-U-C-C-R-U, anywhere on any major platform. So don't run me up. Hey, man, we out. Stay dangerous.